Hello and welcome back to Overbooked and happy International Women's Day. Woohoo! Let's do it ladies. Let's do it. I was going to try to come out with a video idea where I talk about, you know, my favorite books that center around women that are written by women and I might still do that. Uh, that just probably just won't be coming out today. Like, uh, that was the video that was meant for International Women's Day, but instead I have something else for you. In trying to come up with an idea of what to do for Women's History Month and how to include all my ladies, um, female identifying friends, like everyone, I wanted to combine this month with my passion for reading books and find an organization that I could align myself with and advocate for. I have done that and I found a great organization in an area that I consider home, Minneapolis, and I'm shocked that I did not know about them before and I am so excited that I found them. It is called the Women's Prison Book Project and like I said it was established in Minneapolis in 1994 and it's only one of two organizations that caters to women only um, providing books for female incarcerated individuals. The other organization that caters to uh, females is a organization in Chicago. Um, I'm gonna link them below. I'll link the organization that I'm talking about today below. But I thought that that was impressive that there's a, like there's two people out there doing it, but I wish that there was more, but you know, you gotta drive awareness. That's what we gotta do. So what the Women's Prison Book Project does is provide reading materials for women and transgender persons who are currently in prison. And these books range in a variety of topics, including law, politics, parenting, fiction, women's health, and many more. This is an all volunteer grassroots organization. This is truly a nonprofit where people are putting in time and energy and they're not getting anything in return but knowing that they're making a difference in these women's lives. The whole idea is to seek connections behind those prison walls and to educate us as well on the criminal justice system and the reality that we live in today. Of the two million people confined in US prisons and jails, over 150,000 of them are women. 80% of these women are committed for nonviolent crimes, you know, such as prostitution, um, shoplifting, petty theft, so on and so forth. And for those that are committed of violent crimes, the majority of those women were convicted of crimes where they were defending themselves or their children against violent acts against them. More than half of the women in prison are women of color and two thirds of the women have children under the age of 18. All of those facts put together mean that these women need particular information on those topics that relate to them. There is a shortage of materials that these women can find in their prison, especially for lesbian, bisexual, and transgender persons. Um, they have a lot of difficulty finding material that relates to them and helps them. As the prison population in the United States grows, that means limited resources are available for prison libraries or just resources in general for these women to obtain on certain information. The Women's Prison Book Project aims to be a source of information where these women transgender persons and LGBTQ community can find sources of information. Reading is such an important part of a inmate's overall well-being. Books can provide such an important part of an inmate's well-being and parts that we probably wouldn't even think would help. Not only does it help their personal development, it helps decrease the rates of recidivism and it offers a, a sense of relaxation in a place where it's very high stress. When I was doing some of this research, I found that a lot of these women who receive these books are extremely grateful. These books help them get through the day and help them learn about new topics, whether it's through, you know, legal information or cooking or just simply being able to escape in a fiction book is such a great way to help out these, these women. I think that everyone deserves the right to literacy and books and education and a lot of these programs 
offer children's books for those who may not have such a strong reading level, and just offering a wide range of books that are in demand. And not only do they just donate books that people provide to them, they are also pulling a list of books that they are in need of. So these books are coming straight from these, you know, these women in the prison. These lists are books that are needed there and are requested. So it's not like these books are not going to go unread. These are books that are being requested by these women. I think this organization is doing great work and I really, really hope that this continues and that if I ever move back to Minneapolis, I would love to take the time to volunteer and help them sort through mail and package up these books for these women. Since in the meantime, I am not moving to Minneapolis anytime soon, I wanted to use this month of March to raise money for the Women's Prison Book Project. Um, I started a GoFundMe page where all the donations go directly to the Women's Prison Book Project organization and I have a goal of $100. So I will be donating money, my own money. I think I'm gonna start with $20. And I would love for any of you that are watching to go to the link that I have provided below and donate $5, $2, whatever you think that you can donate. Um, I think that I was going back and forth on whether or not to, you know, just donate money or to donate books. But I think like this organization knows exactly what these women need. So I'm just going to provide them the monetary help that can help them do whatever they need to do to keep going. You can also go donate on their page. Uh, so I can link that below as well. But I thought it would be fun to set up the GoFundMe so we can see how far or how much we raise in the month of March and just kind of keep an eye and have that goal in mind of the $100. Do I think I'll get $100? I don't know. Who knows? It could just be the $20 that I donate and that's fine. Um, and if that happens, then I'll probably donate two books from their list of books. I just really wanna get awareness out there that there are amazing organizations out there like this that are doing great things for women that involve literacy and books. There's just great things happening for women everywhere and I'm just so happy and proud and excited. So what I'm gonna be linking below is the Women's Prison Book Project website. I'll also link the Chicago website, their organization, um, just because there's only two of them out there that are doing this that are strictly for women and transgender persons. So I just want to make sure that we're recognizing the other one as well. But then I will also link the page within their website, the Minneapolis one, so the Women's Prison Book Project, the page their site where they have links to where you can see their list of needed books. So you can go ahead and go there and you can donate a book from that list if you want. You can donate on that page. And then I will also link my GoFundMe page where you can donate money. It goes straight to the Women's Prison Book Project. And I would love if we crushed this and got to $100. I think it would be great for Women's History Month and of course every month of the year. I think it's important to recognize that we, in order to be you know, strong, empowered women, we also have to empower other women. So you have to reach out that hand, you have to reach out and provide assistance or whatever you need to help those around you, regardless of you know their age or race or um, how they identify. It's just, we have to make sure that we're making strives to help all women of every um, position and just rise up and feel empowered. So I really think this is important just because these women are in prison or in jail doesn't mean that they don't deserve reading materials or access to stories or information that could help them develop themselves. So I just think that this is a really important thing to do and a really important organization to support. So I hope that you help me out. Um, feel free to donate. And honestly, if you can't donate, that's fine. Um, just looking around their site and getting yourself acquainted to what they do or checking out the Chicago site or checking out their Instagram or their Facebook, whatever, I think is just a great way to help out. Just getting eyes and observing and learning more about the organization can also be just as helpful as anything else. So happy International Women's Day. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.